Yo YouTube, what's going down? It's your boy Potsy, and today I have some WWE 2K15 My Career Series. Now listen, I apologize for the videos, um, that it was like three to four days, I don't know, it's been, it's been a while, um, you know, with New Year's and all that stuff, I had work, and it's been, you know, a little, been a cluster, and I got hammered, like, and all that other stuff, but nonetheless, we're back and making videos, back on that grind, back on that, you know, 2000, it's 2015 now, man, so we gotta get on that grind. And, um, you know, play, play some 2K15 and all that. As you see right here, Regal's saying, you know, stay sharp tonight. Your opponent isn't a joke. As you know, this is the title match for my belt. And, oh, oh look who it is, Mr. Adrian Neville. And from Newcastle upon time, weight 194 pounds, Adrian Neville. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Making his way to the ring from New Jersey, he is the NXT Champion, the Warlock Russ Chris. Alright, so here he is, Mr. Here Adrian Neville, the, I guess the number one contender for my title, because most likely the GM William Regal was just saying your belt's going to be on the line, yada yada yada, I'm smack, you know, smacking joppers around, and then he throws me on to the man who I took the title from, Mr. Adrian Neville. Now, in the last episode, you did, you pretty much did see pretty much a destruction in the ring when I completely manhandled Adrian Neville. Now this could be different. You know, now Adrian knows who I am, who is Ruckus, and and uh, can pretty much work around the Neville. ring and see how he can take me down and what he can do. Because as, as Adrian Neville is, he is a high flyer, but also he you know he could pick he big dude. So he can pick me up. He could probably you know lift me around like a ragdoll, but that's if he if he can because of the destruction of Ruckus can pretty much wear him down. Ruckus is a big guy. Look at that Herakarana, that beautiful Herakarana. Standing her crown she pretty much just launched his whole body. Adrian Neville is a small dude, but he is so like jack. I know I'm, I'm like saying some homo stuff, so no homo, but like professional wrestlers in general, when they're like that size and they're ripped and they're fluid in the ring, it's pretty amazing what they do because they look like how jack they look and how big those for that size look like he can't move. This dude moves. Just fluently. Phenomenal. Look at this backflip. Standing backflip by Adrian Neville. This dude is a beast. I'm hoping soon when he gets called up in the WWE, they won't ruin his, you know, pretty much his gimmick. Whatever they're going to do as they get a beautiful German suplex there. Pretty much picked up the little man down. But, you know, much respect to Adrian Neville in real life. But Ruckus, I can't stand this dude. I want to just, just, just pretty much break his neck every chance I get with the package pile driver. But, you know, this is beautiful. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm really, you know, hopefully looking forward to see him become a pretty much a top superstar in the WWE because the matches he's been having in NXT are just beautiful, phenomenal. I get the quick cover here and a kick out at one. Now, when I do wrestling like that, I kind of like, like to do a simulation wrestling, but I suck. But uh, as I get a one, that just, God, that power bomb was phenomenal. Great force, but you see he gets the spinning forearm here, just you know, pretty much destroying the good looks of Ruckus. But once again, with Adrian Neville, he is a great wrestler, and I'm hopefully when he goes to WWE, he can have you know pretty much great matches. And most likely, oh good God, with new wrestlers, they kind of just don't, you know, they don't know how to find a, a gel in the WWE programming. If you look at you know Adam Rose, they kind of like ruined him. He could have made him a little bit better, but it was downhill from the start. But I mean, I'll get to it that to another video. But I just kind of want to talk about how Adrian Neville is and what you know customer star he is and you know he he's a great wrestler i can't i can't simplify oh my god i can't simplify enough how good he is because i've seen him in independent he was i think Pac or pack whatever i forget 
he was good. And I was like, this dude's small. Like, he was like, like when I remember seeing him, he was a skinny kid. Like, picture that height, just skinny. That was it. And he just beefed up, you know, before he got into uh, the he WWE programming, pretty much, the like, two, you know, got a WWE contract. I was like, this dude's jacked. Like, oh my god. There's always a twig, and he's just beefed up and got 26 abs, you know, in, in his six pack. There's there's a six pack, but there's like baby six packs in the ab, in each ab. That's like, the dude's a beast. But, um, as you see right now, like in this match in general, if we get back to the game, like he's moving around than the last uh, um, match we had when I took his, uh, t- his precious title away from him. He, this match, he's been kind of like finding a little bit of a uh, uh, a little bit of a uh, momentum going. He's finally here, and he gets a nice reversal here, but I kick out as usual. But yeah, he's. I think when you uh, wrestle, you know, with other pretty much the same wrestlers, I feel like in the in the game they kind of know what you're doing, or the gameplay just gets a little bit harder. I don't know, but I mean, he's going to be setting up for me for a red arrow, and this could be trouble. But look at the smart. See, that's the smart of an NXT champion, knowing. That it could be, you know, lights out for him, and he knows, you know, I gotta get his ass up and look at the reverse. What a oh, what a beautiful German suplex by Ruckus. Now this could be it, and he could hit that big boot and win it all. But you know what time it is? It's a possibility. Oh, what a beautiful T-bone! I thought he was gonna go high flying there. I thought he was gonna go for the suicide dive, but it looks like he's going to hold on to it. You never know what's gonna happen if he feels like he's gonna high fly. This could be it. He might do it. But it looks like he's he's trying to, you know, give Adrian Elba a breather, but he's got him in the Irish whip here. And look at the cross body. The way that Ruckus does that, he just throws his whole body into Adrian Elba. It's pretty much 295 pounds of just force going into him. But he gets the reversal that could have been set up for the package pile driver. And Adrian Neville is just finding ways to just... Just overcome anything that Ruckus is throwing him. It's gonna be tough. I mean, he's got this. This could be it for Ruckus here, as the crowd's going wild. Because this could be it for Ruckus. He might hit the it. Whoa! What is this? Could what the hell was that? That Adrian Neville just won the title. What kind of what was that? I never saw anything like that. What an impressive move that he hit on Ruckus and became the NXT Championship. I don't. I am shocked right now. I can't. But look at what. How do you hit that? Look at the crowd just going wild as Adrian Neville wins back his NXT title. What does this mean for you know? For, for Ruckus now. Now Ruckus, and once again, he's got the rematch NXT calls, but champion, could this, Adrian. you know, Neville. Adrian Neville found a way to beat him. That one gone now, way. this rematch happened. This, to be this, this is going to be tough for Ruckus because now this guy is a very fast opponent, and now he's the NXT champion. Ruckus has no cold right now. Now, with that being said, Ruckus is in a pissed off mood. And when Ruckus doesn't have gold around his waist, he gets pissed off. And it looks like Adrian Neville took something from him. Ruckus is pissed. I'm pissed. In the next episode, we'll have that rematch. I hope Adrian Neville's ready. Because Ruckus... Is bringing back the gold. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.